Good morning guys, welcome to Thursday. Thursday in the car. Sam is home today, woo woo. Today's one of the days that he's home this week. Which I love him being home, man. It helps me so much when you go down, especially on a freezing cold day and take care of the horses. What's the temperature? One degree, one degree. And I have my spring coat on, but that's okay. It was minus five, feels like minus five. Feels like minus five, yeah, it's like winter again. But the snow is all gone. We actually still have a little bit of snow at our house, just little tiny bits. But I saw videos on TikTok, I have to show you Sam. In the States, they had a really weird pile of snow. Like they had, it was like rain with slush in it. I've never seen anything, have you guys, did you guys see that? It's like, what? No, I'll show you, it, it, on TikTok you can see it. it, it is bizarre. It's like something like the world is changing, you guys, it's changing. Um, yeah, what, no, it's like, it was like soup. It's like soup, like, wait, I'm gonna well, show you. It was probably like. Pouring rain with all this slushy snow. Like, you know when the snow. Yeah, it was always cold, and so the water just kind of got mushy instead of. Yeah, well have you seen that before? Yeah, but this was coming out of the ground like that. Out of the sky like that. It was like pea soup falling from the sky. This is crazy. Anyways, uh, welcome to today. We're headed out shopping. We have to buy some um, food for our bearded dragon. Maybe I'll show you guys a little bit more of that. And I'll have to tell you guys, like, for the people who don't like bearded dragons or any kind of animal like that, I have to tell you guys, this girl is, like, the thing about bearded dragons that people don't understand is that they're so sweet and gentile and gentle by nature. Like, it's like a Sophie. She's like a little Sophie running around. And I hold her and she looks up into my face and she smiles, not like a, not like a fake smile, like when they get upset or angry, but a real smile. Like, she's just a loving little creature and she's so, emotional like if Sophie puts her hair in ponytail then and tries to feed her she won't eat because she doesn't know Sophie <laughs> it's really she's so cute she has like lots of little quirks and stuff not a mean angry bone in her body like she's just uh, like a baby she's like a baby just pure sweetness like I love her all right I'm here in the dollar store and really empty and you can't go anywhere and but look this section is closed you can't buy that stuff. Even though you can reach for it. You can reach for it, but you can't buy it. I can't buy a pillow. Can't buy toys. I'm actually looking for tape and I probably can't buy it. I can buy light bulbs, but I can't buy anything musical. I'm looking for tape. Tape, tape, tape. There's lots of tape, but not the tape I need. That's what I need, tape. At least I can buy tape. Buy Harry Potter pads. So you know Mother's Day is coming up and I couldn't buy a Mother's Day card either. Like what the heck? You should be able to buy cards. What if somebody's sick and you want to buy them a card? So I guess I'm gonna to have to make a Mother's Day card today. Because if I can't make a Mother's Day card, my mom is not going to get a card. <laughs> Holy heck! That's insane! That's insane! We can't even have Mother's Day. We can't have. Fun. Did you buy me a present for Mother's Day before, before it all happened? Well, I guess no Mother's Day presents. So you guys know there's Hopefully something I'm not going to be all right for Father's Day. Yeah, it better be. <laughs> Actually, I, I'm trying to find something for Sam. Like, you guys know that we talked about buying him a horse the other day. Well, obviously, he doesn't want a horse, but we want to buy him something special. So we're working on it. The girls and I are working on it. We're trying to figure it out. But nothing is open. Can't even buy a card. Good thing I don't really care about cards. <laughs> Anyway, you guys know that I want something really special for Mother's Day this year. Like, normally I don't care. People, Sam was watching a video yesterday of the girls when they were really little. And they went out in the garden and they pulled out a weed. And then they planted it in a little container and they gave it to me for Mother's Day. And it was so adorable and I love that. But this year, now that I have Penny. That's what we're going to do then. <laughs> I didn't love it that much. Pull some weeds. <laughs> oh, could you imagine Gabby out there pulling weeds and giving them to me? So... 
basically, now that I have Penny, there is something that I've been really wanting and really excited about and like looking at and looking at. And it's expensive though, and I don't like to spend that much money on myself, especially when it's not something I need because I already have this. This is just a different one, but anyway. No pressure, Sam. I know it's COVID. I know that you probably can't get it for me. We're headed home. Got the crickets. It's them. Did you get uh, tape? Yeah. Or wrap Gabby's birthday presents. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys. I was you just... can buy tape, but you can't buy wrapping tape. Oh yeah, I forgot that you might not be able to buy tape. You can buy tape, but you can not buy wrapping tape. Good thing we could buy tape. Like, wow. Oh, you can't buy wrapping paper? No. Oh, wow, that's nuts. I have some I have some leftover wrapping paper. Okay, I have to tell you this story that Sam just told me. It's insanity. So I was sitting in, waiting in line because the girl decided to buy all her groceries at the dollar store. I don't know why. It came to like $150 worth of groceries. And you could have bought it cheaper at the grocery store instead of dollar dollar ammo. Anyway, so she decided to sneak some contraband stuff. She decided to grab some books. And books are not essential. <laughs> so at the end of it, the lady scans in the books and the machine beeps and says, oh, oh, I'm sorry, you can't buy these. These are not essential. So she couldn't buy any books. So the cash registers in Canada are set up now so that even if you try to like buy something non-essential, that it it won't even let it be registered into the cash register like you can't you can't buy it like you you can't there's I wonder, no i wonder how that works with self-checkout in walmart and stuff like if you sneak a pair of shorts and you're able to self-check it out yeah probably not yeah probably not like uh, that's like uh, i've never seen anything like this before in my life it's it's a shocker you guys hi miss trixie do you guys see her this is where she goes to bed at night it's where she sleeps and then, when it's time to eat, she comes out. This is where we put her salad. We put it on that because we don't want our carpet to get too dirty, although it's kind of dirty. Yesterday was a massive pile of salad. She has banana and lettuce and a whole bunch of stuff. She has green peas in there. She has carrots in there, a lot of stuff. And she loves her salad and eats a lot of it. This was huge yesterday. So we'll take that out today and give her fresh stuff. The hardest part about having a bearded dragon is the cricket situation. So every day we take the lid off this and let them breathe more. Basically, when you store crickets, you have to feed them. And then, so we have a banana in there right now. And we also have these little things over here that are like thirst quenchers. You also have to give them something to drink. And what I do every day is I wet a clean paper towel. And oh my gosh, it is dry. And I just wet it last night. Oh, this one's wet. So then they climb on there and then they drink and there's no real water so they don't drown. So to put new crickets in, I bought 500 new crickets. And so you guys can see that there are crickets here. So, whew, so disgusting. So this is what happens. They shed their skin and then see that's a rotten orange. They shed their skin and they make such a disgusting habitat. Like they're just dirty. So the problem happens when I try and clean that out each week to add new crickets. I put them in a nice clean environment, but it's hard to clean it out because you can't take out the live crickets that you still have left and move them. So you have to clean around the crickets. It's bleh. What I try to do is make sure that we're down to like the last five crickets before I buy new ones, but it's really hard to do. And clearly there are more than five crickets like there's probably about 100 crickets in here all right so this is it this is all cleaned <coughs> it smell is awful you got crickets stink so i had to clean the, the thing around the crickets these are all the crickets that we have left yeah and she eats about 13 twice a day and she's ready up there she's like give me the crickets uh also sophie gives her some treats will she put her head in there and take them Oh yeah, so see, she's being fussy right now because I'm in the room and I'm not usually in the room when Sophie feeds her. There's little worms in there. And she's thinking about it. So next I put down two paper towels that are completely soaked, saturated with water. And this is how the, um, the crickets drink. I know I've showed this before, but I'm going to show it again because it's interesting to me. So 
What happens when you buy crickets in a box like this is that they're shipped from a company and that um, they have been in this box with no drinks. So they're all going to be like super thirsty and they're going to want to drink. So um, that's the first thing they're all going to do. It's kind of interesting to see because they will swarm the food and swarm the water as soon as I dump them. Dumping them is the only thing that's bad about having crickets. But look at this. See, Sophie's giving her breakfast over there and she's all concerned. She's like, what is happening? What is happening to my world? Why are you here? Why are you talking? Why are you making noise? See, she's looking at me. I'm going to show you guys how I dump the crickets in and how awkward and horrible it is. All right, here they go. Get ready. Uh-oh. Get ready. Ugh. Ah! One got out. What do we do? Get off. All right. This is 500 crickets. Ah, they're everywhere. Ah! Get ah! Like stressful. Not my dog. They're all on the water. Yeah, as soon as they get free, look, there's tons in there still. Tons. Okay, so there we go. The box is completely empty. Eventually, when our dragon is completely full grown, we won't feed her as much as we do now. So that will mean that we don't have to buy as many of these. But look at Watch, I'll try and pick it up. I've gotten brave. Wait, eee, look at all their antenna. I'm touching their antenna. So that's what they had in the box with them was some kind of a fruit or some kind of a... Can I it around? Yeah, go ahead, flip it around. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about, baby. That is what I'm talking about. So we're going to leave the banana peel for them. And all the water, because that's what they really want. Maybe you shouldn't put the banana on the water. So all of them can get water. There we go. And I'm going to go get some potato. And maybe some more fruit and put it in here. But right now it smells nice and clean and, and fresh. fresh. Cricket food that we give them. I think this is probably the reason that most people don't like bearded dragons. Is because you're dealing with this. So that big pile over there is Trixie's new salad for the day. So it is wet which is how she gets some of her fluid. And so we put powder on it, calcium powder. So, she... so that's it. That's how we do our bearded dragon. We play with her. We take her out. Her favorite thing in the whole entire world is to uh, sit in the window. We put a pillow in the windowsill and she just stares outside all day like she loves it. Bearded dragons are really quiet pets. They're really, um, when they're young, they can move around a lot, but, but they don't like, they're not like, you know, a pet that's just running all the time. Although she has, she I, will run. I saw this person on TikTok um, that has a bear dragon. And she calls her bear dragon. And it comes. Comes running? Yeah. We definitely could train ours more. The problem is, is that we have the dogs. And anytime we like make a fun, come here, come here sound or whatever. Then our dogs all come running. And we don't want to stress her out. Bearded dragons are super fragile in the fact that if they get too scared they can it can they can die and same as with her tank like we don't move it around and change it around too much on her because every time we even move a single plant like yesterday Sophie took everything out and cleaned the whole tank and when we put her back in she was like whoa what happened to my house like we're yeah like we try and be really careful with her all right it's a few hours later we just finished school which was a heavy day of school and little Miss Trixie's in her hammock. I need to fix this hammock. I want to cover it with material and make it soft for her because apparently it can hurt their nails, rip their nails out with those little holes. But that's what she does all day. She explores her habitat. So uh, we're getting ready to go to the barn. It's really cold out, man. Like this last week, we've hardly ridden. Uh, so this is the only wrapping paper that I have at home and you can't buy wrapping paper because it's not essential toys are not essential um everything literally everything is non-essential right now like you can't buy anything right now but luckily for gabby i was able to buy things before everything went crazy for her birthday uh we didn't buy her too much because we bought her an um, apple watch for her birthday so we just bought her a few small things because we already bought her something i wanted to buy her just 
kind of like things that she needed mostly. I don't mind buying them things that they need for their birthday because I'm gonna have to buy it anyway. So Sophie and I are sitting on my bed and we're getting ready to go to the barn, but before we do, we're gonna wrap Gabby's birthday presents. You know what I'm gonna do? What? I'll wrap it fully taped and she can knock it off. Oh my gosh. I have to, oh my gosh, get off! <laughs> They're not for you! She's using the trucks one. Yeah, we're gonna have to use what we have, Gabby. Look, she's using the trucks. I don't care, she's getting trucks. So we got one dog over there, another dog Hi. over here, another dog over here, and a cat that just ran under the bed. That, that's, what, that's what wrapping presents, doing anything at our house is like. We're always surrounded, surrounded. Guys, yeah, like that's a fun thing, looking at the things that you bought again. All right, listen, dude, get your dirty toy off my bed. Go, get it. I got it. This is why you can never throw things for Daisy because she thinks it's a challenge how fast she can bring it back. So here are her presents. We just have her three presents. <laughs> my horse got the key. Because they're at the round bill. All right, so Sophie ran and peeked, so hopefully, it's gonna go okay, you guys. I got yeah. treats. Storm's blanket's off. Storm's blanket's off. Oh. Well, you know so what? He doesn't love a blanket. <laughs> the dude rebels. He rebels. Anyway, Gabby's running storm today because we're running indoor because it's cold and wet outside. So tomorrow we're gonna ride Chino. Treats. I got the treats. I throw one up for Here, you want me to take Chino's medicine? Yeah. All right, good luck to you, Gabby. I'm gonna let you just go. Good luck to you. Any treats? Oh. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. So you guys might remember that the last time the chiropractor was here, she said, to give Chino some supplements for his leg, and we did. When she came this time, she was like, wow, it's beautiful. And I'm like, yeah, like it happened in two days, it got beautiful. All right, Chino Bambino, look. Can I put the camera on here and video? Whoops. All right, let's see. He's I know. Away. You I like this. You look like this, Chino. Don't eat that camera. Don't eat it, here. Hold oh. on to his all right. Hey, come here. Look. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Chino, come on. Oh, man. I might be waiting for Gabby to do this. You need me to do it? Yeah, I'll need you to do it. Here, I'll hold Finn. He, he likes this medicine. All right, come on, Finn. It's just easier for us to give him his food. I mean, give him his supplement. Just stick it in there because he likes it. Chino. Look at how gorgeous you be looking. Look at that neck. You be looking like a muscle man. Oh. Hopefully. There we go. Oh. <laughs> you like it, Chino. Oh. You can't squeeze it. This is not fun. No, Alright, hold on to him. And Gabby caught herself a stormy night. I have to do it because... He pulls me up because he's taller than me. He lifts Sophie right off the ground. Well, I got it. Look at that, can you guys see it? Stormy summer coat. Finally, we're ready to roll, thank you. Poor Chino will be out there all by himself. We'll be with you tomorrow, Chino. Not that he cares. Our chiropractor also said, Stormy be carrying more weight than normal. Someone asked me how we keep our girls, our mares, like in good shape. Oh, it's hard. Like, even for us at home, we have to adapt our level of hay to reflect so many different things. And I just watch them. Like Fiona taught me, she used to do this. She used to watch and adjust. Watch and adjust. You watch their weight, it starts to go up, you adjust. It starts to go down too much, you adjust. Like, but you do, that's what I mean, like, horses are not, horses are not just fun and riding. Horses are hard, even um, our bearded dragon is a bit hard. All right, I'm gonna go set up some jumps. What are you guys looking for? I don't know. We're, we're done, like, you guys, we're done with the cold, we're done with the lockdown, we're done with no trainers. 
We're done. Like, it's just hard. You got to take his blanket off today. Why? I don't want to get shocked for a million times today. When you take it off, sister. I got shocked a million times because I'm going to stand from a chair. If my chair doesn't shock me, then everything else I touch does. Don't shock her, Finn. You know. Anyways, remind me, we'll take this home, throw it out. So Storm's so funny. We did, so we give them a little bit of oil. It's just really good for you. Really good for them. And he's a funny boy. He holds his mouth really still. Holds it in his mouth. And then when you let go, oh, he swallowed, he swallowed it. <laughs> we know, it's gross. Here, have a, have a cookie. Treat. Have a treat. It's not one cookie. Don't you know that you're